it's story time. Story, story, story time. Let's read the story time. Story, story, story time. I'm geek the story time. Story, story, story time. You and me, it's story time. Story, story, story time. Well, let's achieve. Hello, everyone. Welcome to story time with me, Kayla. How are you all doing on this beautiful Thursday? I hope you're doing well. And of course, as always, please making sure to please still stay safe. <laughs> now, today we have another special Arthur feature. Today, we will take a look at a book from Arthur Rochelle Dawson. She has written a book all about a little boy named Josiah, who's going to teach us all about black boy joy and what it means to be great. And so, without further ado, the book we'll be reading tonight is called... Brrr, dun, 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 Josiah the Great, written by Rochelle Dawson. You ready to see what this book is all about? Ready? Set, let's begin. Josiah the Great, What It Means to Be Great, written by Rochelle Dawson and illustrated by Kaylin Harbison. Here we go. But you know, I always have to acknowledge that black boy joy on the cover. I love to see it forever and always. <gasps> Oh, she signed it for us. It says, to Kayla, you are amazing. Thank you for your vision. Our children need more people like you, Rochelle Dawson. Thank you so, so much. And you know, our children need more books just like this one that you have wrote. So thank you so much, Rochelle. <laughs> All right, y'all ready to jump straight to it? Let's begin. I am kind, thoughtful, loving, and true. This book is dedicated to Jojo and all the little boys like him who knowingly and unknowingly have greatness within. You are truly amazing. Absolutely. And you are so needed on this earth. Here we go. I'm Josiah. Everyone calls me Josiah the Great. I'm not sure why, but my mom says I'm destined for greatness. I have smooth brown skin like creamy hot chocolate. And shiny brown eyes that almost close when I smile. Oh, and when I run, my dreadlocks bounce up and down. Ooh, shake your dreads, shake your dreads. <laughs> Look at that smile. My parents always tell me there are no limits in life for a boy like me. If I set my mind to it, I can be whatever I want to be. Because I am smart, I am loved. And I matter. Nothing or no one will ever be able to stop me. Mm -hmm. He could be an astronaut, a famous painter, a famous chef, world-renowned chef. Put his mind to it. I am a great student. I really like school. I learned so many new things, like science, our solar system, and that my ancestors were kings and queens. Sometimes I like to pretend I'm a king. My mom says I don't have to pretend. I am a king. Absolutely. Hey, you don't got to pretend. You already are a king. I love playing outside, riding my scooter, and doing tricks on my skateboard. I love playing sports too, like football, baseball, basketball, and soccer. I haven't decided which is my favorite, but I'm pretty good at them all. Ooh. So he uh, is good with sports. He's good in school, too, with his academics. Just because I'm great doesn't mean things come easy. Sometimes when things are difficult, I get frustrated. But I remember what my parents say. Stop. Take a deep breath, breathe, and continue when you are calm. Breathe in, breathe out, over and over, slower and slower. <sighs> Much better. Hmm. You know, this is a really good tip. Anytime you are frustrated, and even I get frustrated, I have to take my time. I have to stop, take a couple of deep breaths. But I like this. Breathe in, breathe out. Over and over, slower and slower. And that will for sure help. I am a great son, 
a great brother, a great grandson, and a great friend. Not because I say so. This is what others say about me. I am kind, thoughtful, loving, and true. You see, being a good person isn't hard. Treat people the way you want to be treated. That's all. Mm -hmm. I am kind, thoughtful, loving, and true. Look at that smile. <laughs> There's a new boy at school that no one talks to or plays with. Kids make fun of him and his dirty clothes. He looks sad eating alone at lunch. My parents taught me that words should never be used to hurt people. It's never okay to bully anyone. Mm. I decided to sit with him at lunch. His name is Jordan and he's a lot like me. He loves sports and has a little sister too. Jordan and I are now great friends. Mm -hmm. It just takes a little conversation to get to know someone. And you never know. You all may love the same exact things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when the weather is good, my family and I go on hikes to explore the great outdoors. I have found colorful rocks, seen lizards, and discovered so much more. Our planet holds so much life on land and sea. We must take care of it by keeping the air clean, recycling trash, and preserving our trees. Mm -hmm. It's our responsibility to keep our home, our earthly home, nice and uh, good, healthy. One of my favorite places to go to is the beach. I love running from the waves as they roll the shore. I collect seashells, build sandcastles, and let my parents bury me in the sand. <laughs> Sometimes I pretend to be a captain of a big ship sailing across the sea to a faraway land. Arrgh. <laughs> oh, I love that he's using his imagination. Every morning, my family has breakfast together, and every evening, we talk about our day at dinner. The rule is no tablets, no phones, and no toys at the table. Just us talking. Enjoying our meal and being together. My mom says we must stick to this routine because life is less hectic this way. Absolutely. And I am a big person who can get caught up in my phone during dinner time or family time. So I absolutely love this. No tablet, no phone. Just check. Talk about your day. Talk about goals that you may have for the week. Although I'm a big boy, my mom says I'm her baby, and my dad calls me baby boy. They both still hug and kiss my face. I squirm and twist to pretend I am too big for this. But really, I don't mind. The truth is, I love when they squeeze and hold me tight. I love their kisses goodnight. I feel so warm, fuzzy, and loved inside. Huh? I thank the creator for all that I have, for all that I am, and for all that I will be. I know that one day I will be something amazing because today I am Josiah the Great. We are all born great. You just have to look within to find it. Mm -hmm. Greatness in the making. I am kind, thoughtful, loving, and true. Yes, absolutely. And here are some um, post-reading questions. If you would like to answer one of these, please do so in the comments below. The Arthur and myself would love to read each and every one of them. Wonderful book. Oh my goodness, this just made me so happy. The end. Yes, K. Crew! Wasn't that such a wonderful story? And you know, on the back of the book, the author left us with a wonderful daily affirmation. All that I am, all that I will be, simply starts with believing in me. Absolutely. It's already in you. So I want you to believe it and know that you are destined for so much greatness. <laughs> Now, I hope you all enjoyed reading this book as much as I did. To find your copy, make sure to head on over to Barnes & Noble. And of course, be sure to follow on social media. 
A big thank you to our Arthur Rochelle Dawson for my copy and for also writing a much needed book like this one. I want to give a shout out to all your friends and family watching. Hey, everybody. And K-Crew, I have to thank you all too, but it's time to sing goodbye. You ready? Here we go. I know. Goodbye, 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 my friends, goodbye to you. I hope to see you again real soon. Be proud of all your work tonight. Now climb in the bed and sleep real tight. On the count of three, let's say goodnight. One, two, three. Goodnight.